My name is Troy Cato, Director of Bands here at Sumter High School in Sumter, South Carolina. Um, as the Director of Bands, I'm responsible for all ensembles that fall under our band program, including three concert bands, one jazz band, a competitive marching band, two winter guard teams or units, um, as well as an indoor percussion unit. Hey, my name is DJ Vickers. I am an itinerant teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing for Kershaw County School District. Hi, I'm Keisha Grant and I'm a Bates alumni. My name is Hunter Reynolds. Since middle school, I actually have graduated with a bachelor's in intelligence and national security and with a minor in uh, geographic information systems. And since college, I've joined the Army National Guard. Hello, my name is Max Jackson. I am a physicist from Alabama University. My name is Tishawn Pugh. I am currently a student at Central Carolina, finishing my last year to get my Associates in Arts, and then I will continue off to film school to get my bachelor's in film production. Bates Middle School was very dear to me. Um, here at Bates, we fostered a lot of friendships, people that I'm still friends with to this day. Um, I remember a special teacher by the name of Miss Joni Brown, which was the director of bands here at Bates Middle School that fostered our creativity and brought life to the campus. Um, go Banners! That means that I travel around to different schools and help kids who are deaf and hard of hearing um, reach their goals and objectives. Um, I went to Bates in 2000, I think from 2003 to 2006, and one thing that I remember about Bates was my teacher, my science teacher for all three years, Mr. Bettinger, he was an awesome teacher and I think he really inspired me to go into teaching myself. Um, during my time there, I remember the great mentorship. Like I had great teachers. Like I remember um, Jacqueline June, uh, Elaine Rogers, Miss Wilkes, Mr. Mills. And middle school is kind of a, a tricky time because you're trying to find yourself. You're not really sure what you want to do. Um, but I know one thing, whenever I got off track, those people just uh, nudged right back on it. But I experienced this same mentorship when I came to work at Bates. Um, I remember uh, Mr. Simmons working very closely with me, um, and that helped me a lot during my first year of teaching. Um, I was the 14-15 uh, Teacher of the Year during that school year. And now I work as the instructional technology specialist in Bates' one of the schools that I serve. Um, so it's really been, been great to go through that cycle of attending and, and actually being able to give back. So in addition to working at district office, I'm also a Google certified trainer, which has given me opportunities to work with teachers um, in many different states and to do a lot of extra training as well. Um, so I, I just look forward to continuing on my journey and I just know that my path that I'm traveling on wouldn't have been the same if I hadn't come through Bates. I attended Bates Middle School 6th through 8th grade. I learned to play the trumpet. I played the trumpet through 8th grade. One of my favorite experiences is going to Six Flags in Atlanta for a performance. I graduated from Bates in 2006 or 2004. Um, when I was at Bates, the one thing I remember, and one thing that really sticks with me, to even today, was the, the, the dynamic leadership that you get from the school, the teachers, the administration. Um, while I was there, the principal was Mr. Anthony Graham. And anyone who knows Mr. Graham knows, you know, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That was his thing. But it wasn't just that, it was how that, how his, his, his mentality and his work ethic, it just trickled down throughout all the teachers, all of my teachers, Mrs. Padgett, Ms. Boggs, Ms. Wilkes, they all had an everlasting impact on my life. And currently I work for the Department of Energy at a national nuclear security complex um, in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. But even now, you know, that that leadership and how they, they implemented, you know, his vision for what Bates stood for, for what Bates is. That stuck with me throughout my, my academic career and even my professional career now. Um, to where I, I implement that in everything. I implement, you know, myself forward, keeping myself, you know, disciplined and my work ethic and how I apply myself in everything that I do. You know, I want to be a leader because of 
who they were and how they impacted my, how they influenced my life. A positive memory about Bates, I definitely want to say it was the staff and the teachers that I got to meet here. I made some really good relationships with them and I really felt like they cared about my education and my well-being and getting me through middle school and to prepare me for high school. And there are still tons of teachers that I talk to today that have taught me at Bates and they mean just as much to me now as they did then. We are Bates. 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 We are Bates.